Well, what's up, Life Spring? I hope you guys are doing great uh, on this Wednesday. Uh, a few things to let you guys know about this upcoming weekend. First off, it's Father's Day. It's going to be great. Happy Father's Day in advance to all the dads. Uh, we'll have something special for all the dads this Sunday. So be there. Um, and second off, we will be celebrating baptism on Sunday and communion. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and by the way, if you've not yet been baptized uh, by immersion after salvation, go to lifespringnc.com slash take your step. And we will get you dumped. So for your bonus content this week, um, we ended the message last Sunday with this idea of run towards the roar. We're not going to shrink back in fear. Uh, we're going to move forward in faith that overcomes our fear. But it does beg the question, how do I know when it's actually God calling me to move forward? And how do I know when like, I actually should probably pay attention to the unsettled feelings that I feel or the uneasiness that I feel? Because maybe, just maybe, God is actually saying, hey, this is actually a bad idea. So, You'll probably wrestle with this at some point. I know I have. And so there's three places um, that I tend to go. And these are all from Scripture, and I hope you'll find them helpful. The first is this. Psalm 119, 105 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. In other words, when we're trying to figure out what is the best decision to make, we ask, first off, what has God already said in his word? Because if he's clearly spoken on it, I don't have to worry about whether or not I should do that. I should do that. God has already said it. A second idea that comes right under that is this. Um, it's going to be really difficult for me to discern the voice of God if I'm never reading the Word of God. Because the way I've become familiar with God's voice is I read His Word. And as I read His Word, I become familiar with what He says. And therefore, it becomes much easier to distinguish between bad pizza and the voice of the Holy Spirit. So, what has God's Word already said? And then, of course, are you reading it? That'll help you know what God's Word has said to start with and then also be able to distinguish His voice from, you know, last night's pizza. Uh, the second text is this. In Luke chapter 14, verse 28, Jesus mentions um, counting the cost. You know, if somebody's going to build a building or buy a field, won't they first, like, count the cost to see if they can do that? And then that's just another way of saying, hey, what do my circumstances say? Like, looking at all the factors involved, looking at my situation, my unique spot in life, is this a wise decision right now? Or is this just really unwise? So as you're looking at the factors of your life, like when you're looking at that step that you think maybe God is calling you to, is this a wise, informed step? Or is this an unwise, unnecessarily risky step? And, and we have to understand, like, we'll never have 100% clarity on our next step, um, there will always be an element of faith, but there's a big difference between a faith-filled and well-informed step versus a just throwing caution to the wind, unnecessarily unwise step. What is the cost? What do your circumstances say? And then third um, would be this. This is Proverbs eleven fourteen. It says, um, for lack of guidance, nations fall, but in abundance of counselors, or other translations may say, in a multitude of counselors, there is safety. And the idea there is simply this. Um, who around you are you seeking input from? And, and this can honestly be one of the best ways to distinguish between, is this spirit-led or is this really not wise at all? Because wise, godly people who love Jesus and love you in that order can give wise, godly advice and say, hey, um, you know, I, I think this is what God is calling you to do. Or they can say, eh, I don't think that's a good idea. And I know back when um, we first started Life Spring, this was one of the things that really helped me in grace discern that this was God's next step for us because, you know, uh, the people we talked to uh, that loved Jesus and loved us, um, that knew us best, um, were like, yeah, I think, I think this is your next step. I think this is the direction to go. So, who is it in your life that will be honest with you? They love God. They love you. They'll be honest. And then get like four or five different opinions. And if they're all like in, in like unity on the next step, and it's different from what you think, then go with them. Because I can have an off day. But four or five other people who love Jesus, who are listening to the Holy Spirit, um, and are primarily concerned with speaking truth to me and not just telling me what I want to hear, 
chances are they're not all going to have off days, not at the same time anyway. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. I cannot wait for this Sunday. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'll see y'all then. Love you guys. Have a great week.